thing, we need to take some measurements. And to make your top, you need the measurements of your bust circumference and height, but also the size of the straps, of course, and the height of the bottom flounces. For your bust measurement, you need to wrap the measuring tape around the fullest part of your bust. Make sure the measuring tape is not too high or too low. You should be measuring right where the most protruding part of your bust is, not underneath. You will need to know the exact measurement for the front and the back as well, because you will prepare fabric pieces for the front and for the back. And keep in mind that the front side is bigger than the back as we are counting the bust, unless you're an alien and you have boobs on your back. For that, you can help yourself with the top that you are wearing while you are taking your measurements and use the seams that are visible on the sides of your top. To measure, place your measuring tape like you're measuring your bust, but instead of taking the measurement of the full bust, you measure the front from right seam to the left seam and do the same for the back. For my measurements, I have 44 cm for the front, 40 cm for the back, so it's 84 cm for the full bust. To these measurements, we need to add 6 cm, 2 cm for seam allowance and 4 cm for extra room as we don't add a zip to this top. Now, let's measure the height of your bust to define the bound part of this top. Place one end of the measuring tape at the top where you want your top to be. Bring the tape straight down to the center of your bust. Make a straight line with your measuring tape and measure just under your breast. For the height, I have 15 centimeters and we need to add only two centimeters for the seam allowance. So here is what we need in terms of fabric. For the front, two pieces 50 by 17 centimeters and for the back, two pieces 46 by 17 centimeters. We need two pieces of each to make the lining. For the bottom part, add one centimeter to your full bust size. For mine is 85 centimeters and measure the height of your top that you want from under your breast until your hip. I decided to go for 28 centimeters with seam allowance included. So here we will have two pieces of 85 by 28 centimeters and you need a lining as well. So you go for the same length, but the lining has to be shorter. So instead of 28 centimeters, we can go for 25 centimeters. For the straps, you can measure the length that you want. So for me, it will be 46 centimeters and the width is eight centimeters with seam allowance included. You need two pieces of this. For the ruffles on the straps, double the length of the straps so for me it's 92 centimeters and the width is 18 centimeters once you've prepared all your fabric pieces you can overlock all around your fabric pieces then take your strap pieces place them right sides facing down Iron on both sides at one centimeter from the edge like here and fold it in half and press. Do the same thing on the second strap. Now take one of the strap flounces, place it right side facing down, fold it in half like this and press. Repeat the same process for the second strap flounces. Then turn the flounce piece like here, right sides facing inwards, pin the shorter sides and sew on both edges. Do the same thing for the other piece. After that, cut the corners and turn the pieces the right way around. To make the flounces, you need to gather the fabric and for that, you have to sew long stitches on the opening, not the folded side. You need to set your machine to the longest stitch length. In the beginning and at the end of your sewing, leave a long thread and don't do a back stitch to secure your sewing. 
It will help you later for the gathering. If you're not used to this technique, Make sure to sew a second line parallel to this one in case your thread breaks. I'm only doing it once. In this part, we will finally prepare the strap. Take one strap and one flounce piece. The flounce piece has to be approximately the same length as the strap. So, while you are gathering the flounce piece, make sure you check the length of the straps at the same time. Place your flounce inside the strap like a sandwich, but make sure you leave a gap on both edges to assemble the straps onto the top part later. Pin to secure it and do a top stitch. Repeat the same process onto the other strap. Now onto the top part. Take one piece of the front band and one of the backs. Place them right sides facing each other and pin the shorter sides like this. Do the same thing for the other band pieces. After pinning them, sew the sides. Then press the seams. Then take the bottom flounce pieces, assemble them like we did for the top band. Right sides facing each other, pin the shorter sides, and sew. Do the same process for the lining. Don't forget, the lining pieces are shorter than the main flounce pieces. Once you've done the sewing, press the seams. Now, take your bottom flounce pieces with the lining. Place the bottom piece right side up and insert the lining right side down. Make sure to align the seams like this. And the inside of your top will look like this. Pin all around and sew with long stitches because we are going to gather this part. Like I said earlier, you can also sew a second straight line parallel to this one if you want to make sure to have a backup in case your thread breaks while you are gathering. Let's assemble all the pieces together now. For that, take one of the top bands and here is the front part. I'm measuring 12 cm from the seam on both sides to place my straps. It might not be the same measurements for you, just check where you need to place your straps. Then place your strap like this. The outside part of the strap is facing down here and leave a gap so you don't sew the flounces to the strap. Make sure to place the flounces facing out from your shoulders. Pin and sew both straps. To assemble the straps in the back part, I measured 10 cm from the seam and placed the straps like this and as earlier, leave a gap so you don't sew the flounces to the strap. Pin to secure it and sew. Now we are going to sew the lining of the top band and for this, take your lining and turn it inside out. Your main piece is the right way around. Make sure the front pieces and the back pieces match together, otherwise the seams won't be aligned. Place the straps like this, slide the lining, make sure the straps are inside and align the seams like here. Pin all around and sew. You can cut the excess fabric if there is any. Turn your 
top on the right side and iron to flatten the seams before stop stitching. Once that's done, we will assemble the top round with the bottom flounces. For that, we need to gather the bottom piece until the circumference matches with the top band. Then, place the bottom part on the top, right sides facing each other, align the side seams as always. Pin all around and sew carefully. This is how it looks after the sewing. To finish, fold the bottom edge at 1 cm, iron and fold it once again and iron. Once you've ironed all around, you can sew And voila, your top is ready. I hope you liked this tutorial and if you did, make sure to give a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of tutorial, you can subscribe to my channel and share this video on your social media with your friends and family. See you next week. Bye bye. Just watch me. Pray.